Hey everyone, and thanks for jumping back into the Cryptoverse. Today, we're gonna to talk about Bitcoin. We're gonna be looking at the fact that the 20 week moving average has now crossed $9,000. So if you guys like the content, please subscribe to the channel and also give the video a thumbs up. And also please check out the Telegram channel in the description below. Let's go ahead and jump in. So as you guys know, we've talked about many, many times. I just wanna keep you guys updated throughout the cycle. So you're, we're all on the same page here. We've seen before how the 20 week is our, our general support in a bull market, right? This is this is where we tend to find the bottom to 30 to 40% moves down or 20 to 40% moves down. And once we break it and you see a lot of candles closing below the 20 week, then yeah, it tends to mean the party is over. And then, you know, we get into this intermediate phase, right? When we're when we're in the middle of a, like an accumulation phase. And, and you can see the similar a similar one over here, right? Where we broke above the 20 week and ultimately fell below it and then it was the second break that led to the support that carried us through the bull market okay and then the first cycle we know that it was just breaking the 20 week um the first time uh back over here like once we broke the 20 week we then basically held it as support now the thing is at present time so the first cycle it was it was one try the second cycle it was two tries the third cycle, we know we broke it over here. So the first try, and then we did not hold it, okay? Second try, did not hold it, okay? And then third try. And then hopefully we'll hold it. Now, as we've said, we expect the 20 week to, to really start moving up rather quickly. We've been anticipating this for a long time. And the reason is because if you go to the present day and go back 20 weeks, right? We're gonna stop, we're gonna start, you know, like replacing these weeks down here with weeks that are, you know, much higher. So we expect the 20 week to start increasing rather quickly. And the thing is, right, is if, if we continue this rate of increase, it's not gonna take very long for the 20 week moving average to get over $10,000 itself. So we've always said that for the bull market to really confirm uh, that it's really in full effect, what, what do we wanna see? We wanna see the 20 week moving average hold as support. And I feel like there's a, a decent chance that it could hold as support, but remember, the last, in 2019, we also saw an incredible move by Bitcoin. So, you know, once it broke the 20 week, at the, at the top of the wick there, it went up around 250% over 98 days. Once we broke the 20 week here, because note the 20 week was much higher, we've only gone up about 50% over 100, and day, 100 days or so from breaking the 20 week moving average. So, and so, so the thing is, is in this other time that we broke it, we eventually came back down to the 20 week at 182 days later. So about twice, not, you know, a little, almost twice what we currently are. So being above the 20 week for a few more months, like we were in 2019, and yet we still did not hold it as support and we kicked the can down the road in terms of the bull market really getting uh, kicked off. So the question, you know, will be, will the 20 week moving average, will this hold as support? Okay. And, you know, we're going to have to wait and see, obviously. Uh, but the nice thing, you know, is if it does hold as support, then every week that goes by, you know, it's, it's raising up higher and higher and higher. So, you know, at this rate, if it just continues to go up at this rate, more or less, it's not going to take until maybe the end of September before the 20 week, and it, and it won't go straight up like that. It'll probably start to, to level out a little bit, um, you know, but it's only gonna take maybe another month or two, maybe maybe about a month before it's it's getting close to $10,000, okay? And the thing, the, one of the things I wanna, I wanna bring up here is there's a lot of talk, right, about the CME gap. I mean, I don't talk about the gaps that often on my channel. I, I really don't think that it's necessary that we fill them. And then, you know, we could of course talk about gaps up versus gaps down and the differences there. But the daily, on the daily time frame, you can see, right, that there's a gap in, 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 in Bitcoin in the price here from around $9,600 up to $9,900. And so there are a lot of people uh, waiting for this gap to be filled. Now, I do not think it is a requirement that this gap be filled. I do not think that it, it has to happen by any means, um, but it, it's possible, right? It's possible that we do go back down and fill it. And if we if we were to go back down and fill it, and we were able to hold the 20-week moving average, right, and it held as support, uh, and, and then we continued the bull, the, the bull run, then we, we would need to fill it 
within a few weeks because after a few weeks pass the 20 week moving average will be above that level so in about a month or so the the 20 week moving average is going to be higher than where that than where that gap is and so if we were to ever go back and fill that gap we would actually have to go below the 20 week moving average now of course you know it's not a perfect science in terms of looking at the 20 week moving average right because even even when we've held it as support uh, I mean, it's not like it's not like you can't find like a single wick or something uh, that didn't go below it, right? And there's there's wicks that certainly go below the 20 week. It's just that the candles, the bodies of the candles, tend to stay right around that 20 week moving average. Okay, so you know, it could be right. It could be that we we do drop back down to it and still maintain the bull market if it happens in the next few weeks. If it doesn't happen in the next few weeks, then we'll likely pass by that gap on the 20 week moving average. And you know, the only way that we could realistically revisit it would either be on like a, a wick or something, or if we kick the can down the road and, and the 20 week moving average fails to hold again, right? So these are the two, you know, so there's three basic, you know, three scenarios there that you have to consider. The first one being, um, you know, Bitcoin corrects back down, goes back down to the gap, holds it as support right around maybe where the 20 week moving average is and then continues on the bull run, right? This is this is one scenario. Another scenario is where we pass the 20 week moving average passes that gap. And um, and and then if we if we get if we get to the gap, we either have to have a wick down to it or we don't hold the 20 week moving average as support. And then, of course, the other option, right, is we just Bitcoin doesn't care about the gap, and and this is a this is certainly a, a plausible, um, you know, there's there's certainly something uh, realistic to, to say about that in terms of it. This could happen, like right, you know, Bitcoin does not have to honor revisiting that price. So obviously, it's just it's it's something that a lot of people are discussing, right? I want you guys, if you if you only follow this channel, uh, which I think many of you guys follow other channels as well, but if you only follow this channel, I just want you to be aware. That that is a is a key region that a lot of people are 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 discussing as a potential pullback for Bitcoin, so that we go back and fill the debt the, the gap on the daily for the for the Bitcoin CME futures. So again, you know it's not going to take too much longer for the twenty week to, to work its way up to that level. I would give it about a month or so, and and obviously we'll continue to follow along to see to see where it is. And it's impossible to predict exactly where it's going to be in a month because it, it depends on the future price of Bitcoin too. I mean, the 20 week moving average over the next month will, of course, include the prices of the next month in it, um, which will account for approximately 20 percent of that moving average. So it's it's impossible to, to project out just because we don't know what the price is going to do in the short term. One thing I do want to I want to take this opportunity to remind you that we've been talking about a speculative bubble potentially forming for a long time this summer, right? We said that you know there's a lot of it seems like there's a storm coming, a perfect storm in a sense for Bitcoin that you know from from this capitulation down here to a a reaccumulation phase up here, and we said the longer we stay we go sideways, the more likely we we break to the upside, and we did, and now that we have. You know, Bitcoin has slowly and, and not so slowly, but it's moved up to around twelve thousand dollars. OK, and people, you know, I think some people start to get a little antsy at this level because, you know, we're, we haven't really moved a whole lot in the last few days. But remember, things can pick up really quickly. Right. It, you know, in a few more days, Bitcoin could just blast through twelve thousand and continue on up on up the ladder, on up the price ladder. And in the same manner, it could it could retrace back down to the 20 week which if it did, it might be around $9,200 if it does retrace back to the 20 week. So I've been bullish, right, for, for several months now. I've been saying that on the channel that we're likely gonna see a speculative bubble this summer. I don't think that, it, we, we can't say that Bitcoin right now is in a speculative bubble. I don't think that would be fair to say. Um, you know, for, for one of the reasons, if you, if you look at the regression band, you know, that we've, that we've shown before, I mean, we're still in our regression band, right? Like our, our macroscopic regression band, you know, and, and this historically speaking is the best time to buy Bitcoin. And it can, the, the valuations, right, can, can vary a lot. I mean, the top of the band right now is over 13,000 and the bottom is around 6,000. So anywhere between say 16, uh, 6,000 to 13,000 or so 
it's within the regression band that shows this is historically a good time to buy Bitcoin. So I don't consider Bitcoin to be in a bubble yet. What I'm saying is I think there's a good chance that Bitcoin could go into bubble territory over the next few months. Like I think this is a this is a possibility. And and that could even be with the fact that even if we do retrace back down to the 20 week moving average, remember, like these things will happen, right? And and remember, if you look, if if you just as a reminder, if you look at the last cycle, we had those, you know, 30% drops, 40% drops at present day. So let's go ahead and zoom in here. Um, and delete some of these drawings so you guys can actually see what I'm talking about. So if we were to see a, a move down to the 20 week at present day, it would correspond to a 20% drop. Uh, so, you know, going from where we currently are at around 11,800 or so down to the 20 week would be approximately a 20% 20, 20 drop. But if Bitcoin goes into bubble mode and even comes up to say 14,000, $15,000, or even 16, 17, or 18,000, right? And then it drops. It, you know, you might see like a 40% drop or a 30% drop down to the future level of the 20 week moving average. And I'm just preparing you guys for it now because one thing that I can assure you, right, is that Bitcoin will crash. I, I wouldn't necessarily call it a crash, I would call it more of like a, one of those just healthy corrections in a sense. But then it becomes somewhat vague between what is a, a correction and and or I guess like it, it becomes somewhat vague when you when, when people start to say, oh, it's just a healthy pullback, even when you get to say this phase over here, right back in um, back in 2017, you know, a lot of people would, would then say, oh, this is just a healthy pullback or we'll continue on up soon. You know, there is a difference when we start really breaking the 20 week and, and printing weekly candles below the 20 week. So there will be a lot of corrections on the way. We know that it's going to crash 30 or 40 percent. For some of you, you might not like that terminology because you think of a crash as more of like an 80% move. But for a 40% move down is, by most people's standards, would be considered um, a crash in a sense. So if Bitcoin does move, if, if it does go into speculative bubble territory, right? Something like this, which I don't think it would go all the way to 20,000 or 22,000. Um, it's certainly possible that it makes it to 20K, but let's say it goes to 18,000 or 14,000 or 16,000, somewhere in that in that area. And then it comes back down. You know, there's a good chance it will retrace back down to wherever the 20 week moving average is at some point and then continue on its merry way, even if we are as bullish as we can be, right? Even if we are in a bull market. Uh, so I just want you guys to be aware of like these different possibilities. I, I, I understand that, you know, to some degree I'm, I'm rambling a little bit, um, but I just, I want you guys to you know, fully understand what could be on the cards this summer in terms of you know, seeing a, a continued, a potential continued move to the upside uh, where it gets really manic and, and, and it, the market gets crazy, more crazy than it already is. And then a lot of dumb money pours in and then we have a correction down to the 20 week. So just be prepared for something like that to happen. Uh, again, we don't, we're not saying it has to happen, but we, I just want you guys to be prepared in case it does happen. Um, and then of course, you know, if you, these are all the moving averages, the 200 week is currently at around 6,400. So this is, this would be a, you know, like a huge, for my own, for my own taste, right? Um, the 200 week moving average is a historically a great time uh, to, to get into Bitcoin. And, and you can see that right on the, on the chart. It, I mean, and it goes back further than this, this one just doesn't go all the way, all the way back, but the 200 week moving average historically is our, is a good support region. So the 200 week moving average currently is at around 6,400. I always say, you know, I always have buys set up just north of the 200 week moving average, just on the off chance that it, you know, we, we, we come back down, like, right, it, there's always a chance that happens. So I always have buys set up at the 200 week. Um, and you can see even that the, the 50 week, so this is the 50 week right here, it has started moving up itself uh, right here. So it, it started going down for a little and then we said it's not going to go, it's not going to go down too long and it'll start moving back up. So this is happening already. It started, the slope started going up. The 20 week is going up faster. Hopefully when we come back down, we hit the 20 week, wherever that is, and then continue our journey, our slow methodical journey up to 20K, a sustainable 20K, and then up to 50K, even maybe 100K or higher. This is, this is the goal. So if you guys like the content, uh, we do have the premium list. So please check it out into thecryptoverse.com. 
You get access to the weekly newsletter that comes out every Sunday night, my time, the weekly premium video. And then of course, also you get access to a Telegram alert channel, a private Telegram channel, and also to a Google Sheets risk dashboard and a strategies da dashboard where you can test out different dynamic DCA selling strategies for Bitcoin and Ethereum. So please check it out. You can, you can pay with cryptocurrency if you want a, um, a six or 12 month subscription. And if you pay for the 12 months, you get a 15% discount. I would also remind you that we are, the prices will be going up in a few weeks. And, and so when that does happen, if, you, if you've already purchased it, you're gonna be grandfathered in at that price and the prices will not go up for you. So just a, another reminder about that uh, because the time will come where I raise the prices and, and they'll, they'll just be higher at that point on. So uh, let me know what you guys think. I would remind you to subscribe to the channel. I hope you guys enjoyed just kind of like the, the regurgitation of information. Um, but I think it's good to understand, you know, these different possibilities that could play out over the next few months and that you guys are ready for it. And if you want a plan to handle it, check out my website into the cryptoverse.com. Thanks for guys. Thank you guys for tuning in. I'll see you next time.